You don't have to live in failure. You don't have to live in disappointment. You don't have to live in defeat and in bondage and in addiction and in guilt and in shame. You don't have to live like you're less than. Damaged goods. What a lie from hell. Handle me and see. Handle me and watch how I'll recycle even what the enemy meant to destroy you, what he meant for evil. I'll take it and I'll mold it and I'll make you into such a beautiful thing that you'll be the envy of other people. Well, I don't know where this is coming from, but I feel like preaching this morning. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we serve a Savior who recycles evil. He recycles evil. He recycles bad decisions. He recycles mess-ups. He recycles failures and bondage and fear and depression. He can take it and make something beautiful. Look at his hands and see what he wants to give you. Look at his feet and see where he still... Some, sometime the other day in my study, I wrote these words down on a piece of paper. And I was so frustrated because I felt such pressure and I felt like I didn't have the message. And I, and I was just, I was sweating it. I was just, it was aggravated. It's this feeling that comes on you when you don't have the words and you don't have the message and the clock is ticking and all of y'all are coming and you're like a bunch of hungry birds and I'm supposed to have the worm. And I was stressing out, I was tense, I was upset, nothing was speaking to me, nothing was going off in me, nothing. And I looked up in my office and I said, God, why did you choose me? I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not smart enough to do this. He said, you've only been doing it 40 years, dummy. But I'll never forget what the Lord told me. I wrote it down. He said, I chose you because you are you. I didn't need somebody else. I didn't want somebody else. I'm not interested in somebody else doing what I've called you to do. I chose you because you're you. And here I am. This is all I am. This is all I have. But what you are when he touches it, oh, when he gets you from his hand, when he slips into your shoes, and he says, let me take you somewhere that you never dreamed. Yeah, I, could, I could get a Ph.D. I could get somebody with so many degrees. They're like a thermometer. But I'd rather have you. Don't you look at me funny like I don't know what I'm preaching about. I've seen those hands give to me things that I never dreamed I'd have. I've seen those feet usher me right in. I've seen them walk me right into the Oval Office and sit down and preach to a president. Don't tell me God can't use you. Don't tell me God can't reach through you. Don't tell me God can't take your weakness and make it his strength. Somebody give God a praise right Right now. Woo! Hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah. At every campus, shout hallelujah. Oh. I want you to turn to somebody, and if you don't do it, I want them to get a camera and put it on you. I want you to turn to somebody and say, you have not seen God's best yet. Grab them by the arm and shake them and say, I said, you have not seen. You need to handle him and see. You have no idea. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into your thoughts what God has planned for them that love him. He wants to give it to you. He wants to take you to it. Well, I feel the call of God in this room on somebody's listening to me and you have no idea what God's about to do in your life but we're going to look we're going to see the before and after shot of you and you're going to stand there and scratch your head and say it all happened when I heard him challenge me handle me Get a hold of the Word again. Get a hold of prayer until tears are straight. Get a hold of fasting again. Get a hold of, of worship. I mean, not just in church, but in your car and in your house, in your apartment, in, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your workplace. 
handle me and see. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.